Welcome, welcome. Max, how you doing, my friend? Hi, teacher. Sorry, my microphone was off. No worries. Don't worry. Hi, Vanessa. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Giving the rest of the class a little bit of time. Hello, good evening, teacher. Hello, hello, Jose. Welcome aboard. Welcome to Wednesday, hump day. Right smack in the middle of the week. We're almost done. We're almost there, guys. Monday, Tuesday, today's Wednesday is gone. Wednesday is gone. That means that tomorrow is Thursday, que es Viernes Chiquito. And then we get to Friday. Yeah, ver, y es, y es Viernes de Quincena. A ver, let me check. Oh, no. Is it? No. No? Do we have to wait till Monday? To Monday. Yeah, Monday is the... Oh, my God. But what about Valentine's Day, Max? What, what are we going to do? Nothing. I have no money. No, there we go. There we go. All right. You guys know. Let me tell you a story before we get everybody here. We'll have to postpone that. We're, we're going to... We're going to celebrate on the 28th. Ah, huh? ¿Qué tal, Max? <laughs> hmm? On 22nd. On the twenty second. On the twenty second, really? Let me see. Twenty second. Yeah. yeah. No, why not? Why not? Why not? Nineteen. Friday the nineteenth. Ah, uh, because I get paid on twenty first. Whoa. Okay. I see. Yeah. Yeah. So the twenty second. It is once a month. Yeah. No. 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 Did I tell you the story about getting paid once a month, Max? No. Did I tell you? So let me let me tell you guys two stories before we we get everybody involved. So the first one was, remember I had been working at this call center for a really long time. And at this call center where I was working, they paid bi-weekly. So it was one Friday, yes, one Friday, no. One Friday, yes, one Friday, no. Y así va. Entonces se puede decir que es catorcenal, no es quincenal, porque no cae quince ni treinta, sino que it's, you know, it, 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 you get used to it. Now, I stopped working there. And I went to work at this place where they pay once a month, Max. Okay. And so I worked for the whole month. And then finally, cayó 30, and they paid me. And I said, oh, my God, it's so much money. You know, it's, you know, they're, they're paying, you know, it's, it's $400, $500 all at once. And guess what happened? Can you imagine? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I I spent, took, it, all I spent it all, Vanessa, I spent it all, and I forgot about the money, I, I'm sorry, I forgot about the rent, I forgot about the food, I just, you know, it was $400, $500, I, I, I went crazy, and so, Max, now that you bring it up and you say, they pay me once every 30th, my brother, I know, I know the feeling, but nah difficult it's difficult it's hard man it's hard i know it i know it all right and then so the other I was story. used to get paid every 
every yeah. uh, every fifteen year. Uh, so it was. You, say that? So you used to get paid on the fifteenth and the thirtieth. Yeah. Okay. All yeah. right. Twice, twice a month. Okay. Yeah, that one, that one, I haven't, I haven't received yet. Right now, in the two previous jobs that I've had, they have been, we got paid on the thirtieth. Well, actually, on the twenty eighth. So they told us that we would get paid on the twenty eighth or the twenty ninth or the thirtieth. Cualquiera de esos tres depende del mes, right? Depending on what month it was, we would get paid either on the twenty eighth, the twenty ninth, or the thirtieth which was also pretty shocking because you understand that there's a lot of months that are like what the hell's going on you know well, how come i'm not getting paid so it made it, it became really really tough that way hello Adam, and welcome josue welcome all right so let me tell you a story i was telling i was in i was going to tell a story and it has to do with celebrations like birthdays and valentines and christmas and growing up I grew up being a Jehovah's Witness. Can I get a witness? Eh, amen, right? And so as a little kid growing up into being a teenager, I was a Jehovah's Witness. I was a witness. And we didn't celebrate Christmas. We didn't celebrate birthdays. We didn't celebrate Valentine's. There was no celebration whatsoever. So when so my boring. birthday, yeah, Max, let me tell you now, they, you can give somebody a cake. So for example, Max, I can, I can buy a cake and say, Max, this is a cake for us and let's eat the cake or let's celebrate something, right? But it cannot be during your birthday. I cannot give you something for your birthday, right? There's no celebrations like that. So I became a teenager. And, you know, the, the bigger you get, the older you get, you start asking more questions, you know, and I kept asking my mom, how come we don't celebrate Christmas? You know, we live with, we, you, you know, we live in a, in a neighborhood where everybody puts the lights, where everybody has a Christmas tree and we don't. And my mother would say, well, no, because it's against our beliefs, you know. And so eventually I came to a point where I said, well, you know what? I want to celebrate Christmas. You know, I don't understand what the big fuss is about. I want to celebrate it, right? And my mother said, well, if you want to do it, you're old enough to do it, right? So go ahead and do it. And I celebrated my first Christmas. But I was already a little bit old. Um, I couldn't get Christmas gifts, right? Uh, because, you know, you're not so little anymore. Um, we couldn't get, you know, like a big party going because nobody was really into the music. So all I did was kind of have like the little Christmas tree and the lights. And I said to myself, well, this is not fun. You know, I, I'm not celebrating Christmas anymore. And so, you know how yesterday we were asking about how do you feel when somebody forgets your birthday? And somebody said, well, you know, sometimes you feel bad. And I said, I understand that feeling because sometimes you do, but it's very short lived, right? And so for me, it was it was kind of like that because I had never I had never celebrated a birthday. When they did celebrate it for me, it felt weird. I felt I actually felt bad that I was celebrating birthday, or I felt bad that I was celebrating Christmas. And so, you know, for me, it's a little bit different because you know it's it's like oh Christmas and New Year, and I'm like well, you know. Now that I'm older, now that I can celebrate it, I, I actually, sometimes we choose not to. You know, sometimes well, we say, well, you know, I don't want to do that, man. I don't want to celebrate. Like Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is coming up. And guess what I say? You know, when they ask me, how come you didn't give me anything? What do you guys think I say? Religion. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Hey, it's against my religion. I can't. I can't celebrate. You know, it's the word of God. Oh my God, that is so sad, teacher. But religion broke your celebration forever. They, they broke my celebration, and and so I have. I don't want to say it's an excuse, but that's the story behind that. All right, welcome everybody. My family is the same religion. Oh really? Do and they? We but... don't. I, I, in my case, uh, it's my mom and okay. my sister. And all the other uh, relatives 
from and my what mom. about you okay no i i start as a teacher uh we uh, share with my mom the same religion but uh, she had a problem and she um i don't know how to say but she stopped to uh i don't know how to say reunirse uh, congregate well it's the same thing you know how they say congregation that will congregation. yeah so you so you don't congregate anymore and exactly. so that's so that's how you say spent a lot of years in that mm -hmm. situation but then my mom uh returned to the religion again with my sister and now they they are very um uh they are very close to the religion oh but okay the was, yeah they are uh uh, they are in the full time with the religion, with my other family. All my family, they don't celebrate anything. Okay. I don't know what is it is to celebrate a birthday, yeah, uh, then, Christmas, no, nothing. But, but nothing, I don't yeah. feel sad or it's boring. I think that all this about money. I respect my opinions, but for me, it's all this about money. I that is correct. That is correct. You now, can celebrate all days that you're alive, not only the year that you're born. Right. That, and that's exactly that's exactly the model. You should celebrate every single day. Why does it need to be a special day, right? So, so yeah, Vanessa. Yeah, good, good. But uh, in that case, we but, didn't have sorry, a party sorry, with Vanessa. my sister. Right, right. But Your nowadays, Vanessa, do you celebrate? No, no, no. I think that maybe because in in our childhood. We didn't celebrate that kind of things. Yeah. I think for me now this is not a problem. Vanessa, so, you're still into that religion. No. no. No, I mean I don't I am not part of the, 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 the congregation, but I am not in another uh religion. Right. I mean I respect the, the mm -hmm. my mom because I live with her. I share with, with her the that special moments uh that they celebrate. For right. example, the meetings, but I can say that I am part of the religion because I don't, I don't feel, uh, I, I don't feel that, that I can say that. Right. You, you know, you have to congregate, you have to participate in the meetings, and I don't do that. So, but I respect her, I respect my family, so we don't celebrate nothing of that, and I try to to spend with her that moments that they right. can celebrate in the, the congregation. So. Y, y, y se queda un poquito. So even though I, you know, even though I stopped congregating a long time ago, to a certain point, you know that some people now, yeah. so let, let's let's talk, I don't want to talk about, you know, religion itself, but, but you know, people have ideas, right? And and we respect everybody's ideas and every everything is welcome, right? And so what I see like on Facebook and Twitter and stuff like that, people, you know, they they, they like to make fun of, of certain places. Like, you know, there was a thing saying about, you know, how the Jehovah's Witness knock on doors and, you know, it was, you know, it's been a really long time because of COVID-19. And then I tell people, but you know what? Me being part of it, the time that I was part of it, I liked it. That was like the best portion of what I did. I, I I used to get up very early in the morning and I used to tell my grandma, I want to go do it. I really liked it. I really enjoyed it. So when people make fun of it now, I, I think of it as, oh, yeah, it's funny. But in, re in reality, I liked it, man. I, I really enjoyed it. You know, just knocking I, and abrame la puerta. I, I, I like feel it. bad when I see that kind of, of uh, memes uh -huh, on yeah. the social media because my mom, uh, she every day try to go to uh, predicar. Ellos se llaman predicar. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. To preach? So, well, they, they, they spread the gospel, right? Yeah. Okay, that, that's every the idea. Morning, they share. She, yeah. She used to go to the to the bus station it's yeah. with the people and i admire her because i think i couldn't do that you right? could no no it, it's actually yeah. you know what i did it for a really long time and and actually i didn't do that <laughs> all right so I yeah it, no. it was a little yeah, bit different but, yeah but now because of the covid situation yeah yeah yeah, yeah. every morning i uh, prepare letters to share with the people outside to share with the, with the guy who uh is 
who sell the water, the gas. So every every people that came to the house. Oh, that's she nice. Even a letter, and also she uh, talked with her cell phone to uh, any any number. For example, tomorrow if she had your number, she called you and tried. And to she'll tell you to, uh, uh, something special of the Bible. Well, so you know am, she. Yeah, she's very. Uh, uh, <laughs> nice that's nice to hear well you know the commitment and dedication has to be there yeah. all right well that was nice you know a little bit of sharing guys um, and, and remember that it's always good to share because it, you know you have to you know how do we start a conversation how can we keep that conversation going and so whenever you guys feel like sharing something please do right welcome aboard let's share let's practice um today since uh, being wednesday we have Wednesday and Thursday. We will see only very, very little of the platform. And we're going to try to do a little bit more exercises and try to get those conversations going. Uh, I noticed that we have Bessie on the line. Hello, Bessie. We have uh, Luis, a mi amigo Luis Enrique. Luis Enrique. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening. We have Daniela. Hola, Delmi. Hola. Hello, teacher. Hello, Hi. hello. We have my friend Rafael. Rafael. Hi, teacher. There we go. I heard. Got you. We got you. Josue, hello. And 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 Madeline, hello. I had already said hello. So welcome, welcome, you hello, guys. Hello, teacher. Hello. All right. So let me go ahead and begin the sharing and then let's start our practices. Our practicings. Let me see how many people we have. Three, six, nine, ten. We're a little bit off. I think we're gonna have to make a room with me in it. And what I want to do is I want to see if we can practice some uh, uh, some conversational skills in our breakout room. So let me go ahead and do these and show you guys what's going on, and then we'll go from there. All right. So sections. You guys know my favorite question. How are you guys doing with the sections? Has anybody claimed the certificate yet? No, teacher. It Todavía is no. not available yet. El primero, oh. the first person to claim the certificate with a picture and a date gets a special prize from the teacher. Okay, I will try today. All right, try it, try it, try it. No voy a decir que es I'm el special price, pero <coughs> un cafecito, <coughs> un café, <coughs> yeah, por lo menos, por lo menos. All right, that, that's if you guys are not living like really, really far. Como creo que José, José es San Miguel, right? José? Usuluta. Usuluta. I was close. I was close. That's pretty close. <laughs> you know, I go to Usuluta maybe once or twice. Iris, hello. Those are cool Headphones, Iris. I like them. Did I ever show you the ones that I had? No. Did I? Did I? Let me show you guys. Look at look at the ones that I I have. These are like the gaming ones, Iris. Can you see? Ah, uh, yeah, it's the same. <laughs> They're not as cool as yours because you have the cool lights, but we're very. I'm I'm right there with you. <laughs> si algún día quieres hacer un trueque, Iris, count me in. All right. Okay. Um, all right. So, Jose, we were talking, whoever gets that certificate with a picture, bah, special prize from the teacher, delivered to your house or okay. your... Jose, cuando llegue, cuando llegue, Jose, cuando llegue, te voy a avisar. Hola, Jose, aquí estoy en Usulután. Parque, ¿cómo se llama el parque este? I think we talked about this at the very at the very beginning. Raúl Munguía. <laughs> I think that's what it was, yeah. With the church, there's like a big church, right? Yeah. All right, all right. So, yeah, I think that's what it is. All right, everybody. Section one, everybody complete. Or does anybody need a little bit of help? We can do it on WhatsApp if you guys need a little bit of help for that. Section two, how are you guys doing? Did you guys complete section two? Uh, I believe Max no. had completed one, two, and you were in section three, right, Max? I finished midterm today. You finished the midterm, all right. Anybody else finish the midterm? Yes, teacher. Yes? I finish. Okay, all right, good, good, good. Okay, now, with the midterm, if you are going into the midterm, it's it's by sections, 
and I believe they have five or six sections by letter, A, B, C, D, E, F. So now, they some of the sections feel longer than the others. So if you're going to do the complete midterm, make sure you take maybe uh, 15, 20 minutes so that you can complete it and you don't leave it like halfway done. Um, you can do it in, in increments of five minutes, right? Go into section one, do section one, and then leave it. Just don't forget that there's more sections to it. It's not just one, okay? So that's for the midterm. Um, we managed to complete all the sections. I believe we went through section 3.11, which was the last one we saw. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct, all right. Well, 310, I didn't do the vocabulary exercise. Did you guys finish the vocabulary exercise? Yes, I do. Yes, okay, all right. So just make sure you guys fill these in. And if you do it again, you will have to find a new girlfriend. And all you have to do is you have to give this a title what type of what type of answer is this is this an assumption is this a criticism is this a demand is this an excuse a prediction a suggestion it's a warning, it's a warning. all right if you do this again you're going to have to find another teacher oh no teacher por favor <laughs> no all right and then once you guys complete it once again, you click submit and you click next and you begin the midterm, All right? We did this one already, 311, and then we switch over to the midterm. Once you guys have completed the midterm, we are going to start reviewing section four. And we are going to complete section four during our last week, section four and section five, they get completed on week number four. So that's next week for us. Hopefully we can start working on section four tomorrow and then we can go from there. All right. So how are you guys doing with your progress? Have you checked? Has it moved? Is there anything specifically that you need to finish? Please give it a review. And once again, once you guys are in the course, I want you guys to remember that once you reach that 80%, it will tell you, claim your certificate. As soon as you have that, take a snapshot, take a screenshot, postelo en el WhatsApp. Yeah. Special gift from the teacher. Y nada que te manda un PlayStation 4 game. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, para que, pues sí. All right. <laughs> es que así es el teacher, hombre, así es el teacher. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for our platform for today. I want to go back and I want to touch up on some of the items that we have been seeing and we can practice some of this stuff. Okay. Right Teacher, after this. A question. Yes, madam. Yes, madam. When is the when is the last day uh, to send you the all the the, the homework? Documents. Oh, wait, 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 Madeline. If you're talking about the documents to go to the next module, it no, was no, the no, 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 no. It's not. It, it's the same. It's about the same course. Okay, last, February. Last day. February? February 18th. 18th. Yes, ma'am. Oh, yes. So 18th. you you guys you guys have some time left. Ah, uh, 18, but you you wrote uh, Ah no, it's okay, 18. Okay. That's yeah, February. remember the other the other date is February 10th, but that is for the documents. But I send again. Okay, yeah, you have to send it again, Madeline. And then February 22nd, we start the new courses. Ojo con eso. Ojo, ojo. All right. All right, everybody, can you guys see my screen? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right, so this one goes back to.
to relative clauses, which was which we covered in section three. And so I wanted to come back around and kind of review section two, three, and see where we can, you know, we can touch up a little bit more. Okay. In this particular case, we went back and we're going to review relative clauses. Okay. And so if you guys can please help me out in reading some of these boxes and the definitions, I would greatly appreciate it. Okay. So relative clauses is the beginning. And then the question is, what is a relative clause? Who can help me read the pink box? Tell me. Muchas gracias, tell me. There we go. You can, you can please, please help me with this one. What is a relative clause? They are sentences that tell more about people or things and they use. Okay. Hold it, hold it right there. Hold it right there. Down. Okay. There we go. So relative clauses are sentences. So it's the complete sentence that tell more about people and things. You can either be talking about a person or you can be talking about a thing. Estamos bien hasta aquí? Yes. Yeah. All right. So for that, we are going to use relative pronouns. Who can help me read the green box? I could help. Thank you very much. Yeah. Help me out, Raf. Okay. Relative pronoun. Who for people, which for thing, that for people and things. Good. Good. That's it, right? But now, do you guys remember that there was... There was a couple more that we incorporated. Remember that there was two more. What were the other two that we saw that you also could use? Whom. We could use whom. Now, whom, whom is the correct term if you want to identify a person. For example, for example, when you say whom am I speaking to? Si vos decís who. Some people could be, you know, a little bit funny about that. But if you say whom, you are referring to a person. So, okay, okay. Now, there was two that came out that we had not seen. And one of them was for places. When? Whose? What about who? When? For, for places, it was where? And for time, it was? When. when when and somebody also mentioned whose so we have whose we have where and we have when now for what we are going to be using for the exercise that we're going to be doing we are only going to use the most common which is who which and that everybody okay with that yeah. All right. Yes. All right. Yes. Okay. Aunque no lo estuvieran, va. El teacher. El teacher. <laughs> All right. There's so there's no option. There's no options, Ralph. There's no option. So so with this, these sentences can either be defining or they can be non-defining. Who can help me in reading non-defining? Can I do it? Yes, of course, Bessie, yes. Non-defining, add extra information, general, all people or things. We separate them by using commas. We can use that. We only use who or which. Example, Ragnar, who was a beacon, like that? Uh, Viking. Tried, Viking. 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 Tried to conquer England. Oh, Ragnar, have you guys seen the Vikings, the movie, the, the series, the Vikings? No. Yes. No, no yes. you guys haven't seen it? All right. So for those of you guys who have, all right, for those of you guys who haven't, it's very, you know, it's gross sometimes. So if you guys decide to watch it, do it at your own risk. Ragnar, comma, who was a Viking? Eh? try to conquer England. Okay. You guys see that? So now, remember, 
If it's non-defining, we cannot use that. But teacher, so what is defining then? Okay, who can help me reading defining? What is a defining sentence? Me, teacher, David. Like, all right, yeah, go ahead. Okay, defining, the specific person or the thing, special group. We don't use commas, we use who, which, or that. We can use that to replace who or which. Okay. Example, Ragnar was a Viking that tried to conquer England. There we go. There we go, right? So now, defining and non-defining. Look at the difference. If you are talking about a defining phrase, you are saying Ragnar was a Viking. Who was Ragnar? He was a Viking. Who are we talking about? Ragnar the Viking. Ragnar was a Viking. What did he do? He tried to conquer England. What did he do? Yeah, he tried to conquer England. What is the difference? Well, you're giving an explanation from the very beginning using Ragnar. Ragnar was a Viking that tried to conquer England. One sentence, one swoop, and you cover everything. Hmm? Now, when it's non-defining, you still use Ragnar. But now you're providing explanations along the way. Ragnar, who was a Viking, tried to conquer England. And you see how the little commas provide that little stop. Ragnar, the person. He was a Viking. He tried to conquer England. So the focus of the sentence is a little bit different. Who are we focusing on is the question. Here, what is the main point of this sentence? Who can, who can tell me? What is the focal point? That he tried to conquer England? That's it, you got it. So that means that when it's a defining sentence, who are we talking about? Ragnar. Oh, Ragnar. Ragnar, the person. So you guys see how in one, the big, you know, the big focus point, the big light is pointed towards him conquering England. That's what's, that is what is going to cause the most echo in what you hear. But when it's a defining sentence, we are focusing on the person itself, Ragnar. Who? Ragnar. Say it one more time, Mufasa. Mufasa. You guys remember that? No? No. no. Yeah. Muy jóvenes. Dem dem demasiado jóvenes, Max. Too young. No, no, no. All right. Okay. How are we doing so far? I think we're doing well. Okay. I like that. I like that. So, how many, wait a minute. What are the two types of relative clause sentences? that exist. What are the two types? Defining. Non-defining. Non -defining and defining. There we go. Defining and non-defining. So when somebody tells you, hey, we're using relative clauses here, okay, all okay. right? Keep in mind that they're referring to the sentence. And within that sentence, are you using a non-defining sentence structure or are you using a defining sentence structure? Now, within these okay. two structures, you can use who, which, and that. However, there is a clause here where if you are using non-defining, you cannot use that. Una vez más. 
No se puede ocupar that when you are using a non-defining sentence. Mm -hmm. Okay. Everybody okay so far? How about that? Did you guys like that? Ah, todo intenso este teacher, todo puchica teacher. Uh, something so simple, right? Teacher, something oh, so simple. Yeah. I have a question. Luis, yeah. That. Yes, sir. I'm Rafael. Rafael, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Rafael, yeah, yeah. Sorry no about problem, that. problem, yeah. Rafael. <laughs> My, my question is about, for example, that you're saying that we cannot use that when we are using non-defining clauses, I think. Um, my question is, if is this only when we are writing or we have to speak like that in practice? You have to speak that way as well. Okay. And, okay. and, and so the reason being is you cannot mix it you see how you see how the the example yeah. tells yeah. you that you yeah you can put that in there because then you're changing the focal point. Yeah, yeah. The thing is that a lot of people speak like that. <laughs> and they and they shouldn't and they shouldn't, <laughs> Rafael. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So you have to you have to be careful with that, Madeline. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, only use uh, when uh, only use when is. Is a speaking, uh, the people are speaking or only writing? Both, Madeline, when you're writing and both. when you are speaking, both. yes, yes. Both. Okay. both, okay. All right, so with this, let's give it a little bit of practice. All right, so here's the example for you guys. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna create, we're gonna use a defining relative clause. The relative pronouns are necessary to use and they cannot be omitted. A burger is a person. Wait, 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 wait. We're going to do the photographer first, Madeline. Hold it, hold it. So the example goes like this A news photographer is a person. He or she covers conflicts around the world. Estamos? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. A news photographer is a person who covers conflicts around the world. You guys see how we incorporated who as opposed to he or she? Okay, so now for this exercise, you guys can only use who, which, and that. Okay, a burglar. A burglar is a person who steals from the houses, only houses. You cannot say he's a thief because a thief steals from everybody. Oh, okay. A, I use who? a burglar is a person who steals from houses. Okay. So here, okay. a burglar is a person and then we have a blank breaks into houses and steal things. A burglar is a person, blank, breaks into houses and steals things. What can we use based on what we know? I use who? 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 In my, I think. Who? who and that, I think. Who? You can use who and that? No, that no. no. Not that. Who? Yes. Oh, yes, that because it's a, it's a specified. It's a specific. It's defining. It's okay. defining. Okay. Do you want me to leave who or do you want me to change it to that? Can for me, I it's right. We, we have to change that. it for that. To person is who? Uh, uh, a person. A person. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So we're leaving who? Who? No. No. Who? Yes. Who? Peter, yes. Peter, I yeah. have a question. Yes, Rabbi. So, but in that case, what, what I understood is that we can use both. Who right. Who that? In right. this case, I think that would make we sense. can use both. Who breaks? Yes. Oh, bricks. Oh, bricks. Yeah, yes, you guys. 
So we can use who or we can use that. <laughs> the only difference there is that who oh, is a what? little bit more Fine. formal. It's non defined. Yeah. All right. So let's see. Who Iris said, for me, it's non defining. So you want, it's not defining a burglar? Ah, really? If you look at, if you look at the sentence of, defining. at the example of not defining, you can see a, a sentence that is more complex. At least it has commas. The, the commas, right? All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. But now, so hold on, hold on. So, a ver, by show of hands, who wants me to leave who on here? Put the little hand on there. Let's vote. Little hands, little hands. You can you can put it. Puede ser la virtual o puede ser la de verdad. <laughs> Let me see. Well, I, I don't see that many. Two two hands. All right. Who wants to change that to that? Oh my goodness! All right, all right. So, <laughs> hey, we're a democracy. We are a democracy. All right, all right. No. We're going to check. We're going to check. Right. We can come back to it. All right. So B, B. B we're going to do B. Is which? The CSI. Do you guys know what CSI is? Crime scene investigation. That is it. Yes. Yes, sir. That is that is correct. Now, it's a unit, right? It's a bunch of people. Yes. So here, the CSI are the people, blank. <clears throat> Investigate a crime scene. It's a, a department, that, crime that, department. That. CSI. It's that, the people that. So we're saying that as well? A yeah, ver, that. that. A ver, show of hands. Everybody, does everybody say that? <laughs> the CSI are the people that investigate a crime scene. It's, it's not, it's not. Okay. Does anybody want to change it to who? Do we do we have a, I or which we can we can use who which or that no that, no that or who. because it's a who defining. which so it's a defining because it's plural yeah and we can't use which with people yes which? Mm -hmm. I agree with with Raphael. All right. So you want to leave it at that? Yes. Yeah. For me, it's that. Yes. Okay. Well, let's leave it like that. Let's leave it like that. Okay. So then we come down to the last three, and then we're gonna we're gonna check to see how we're doing. All right. Come is. Is the place C, a place forensic, forensic laboratory. laboratory. Love is the place blank evidence is sent for analysis? Aquí, which, 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 is everybody okay with which? Yes. All right. Which. All right. Can we use where? No, I think it's where. Is the place where? We're speaking about a place. Or which? It could be where. Yeah. Well, yes. you, you know, I think that, he, yes, you can, but for this exercise, I think you still have to stick to the who, which, or that. Yes. Okay. Oh, then it is which. Which. All right. Which. Okay. Let's go for D. Ragnar was a Viking. Is that? Who? No. It, it, uh, oh, what? We just... Uh, 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 <laughs> what was that? Oh, Ragnar was you a don't Viking. Remember. You mm. don't remember. <laughs> All right. DNA is <laughs> material blank. That is found that, that in is found. that. That. A ver. That. Vaya, denle un vistazo. Give each of the sentences oh, a look. Read it. I think it's which. Mm -hmm. DNA is, is material which is, is found in which is found <laughs> maybe like that. Which is found in blood, which, saliva, no, hair, and skin. No. Show of hands, manitas. Who says which? It's which. It's which. That's a lot of manitas. Yeah. All right, we got it, manitas. All right. Okay. All right. All right. We're gonna we're gonna hold it. We're gonna leave it like this. Let's see. 
Whoa. Whoa. So now we change a little bit. You know what? We can, I think we could, I think we could do the rest. We have enough time. Madeline. Tell me, teacher. You, you said something. I read. No, no, no. Okay. 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 Hold it. Hold it. Never mind. Never mind. Let's see. So here, if you guys were reading, we were working with defining relative clauses, right? Yeah. Here, we're going to work with non-defining. Non-defining. Non-defining, right? And Max brought it out. Brock's, Max said, hey, look, but it's it's less complex. Non-defining that uh, said uh, who? You can use. So now let me say, I, let me, let me, let me show you guys use, the example. I don't use that. I don't use that. I remember. You can use who or which, but not that. That's why it's not here. Who? So now who? video, 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 videographers, videographers shoot weddings video. and social video. events. Video. They often work evenings and weekends. weekends. Videographers who yeah. shoot weddings and social events often work evenings and weekends. You see how the who came along? Who? Who? Yes. All right. So let's start. So now we start off with Chuck Malone blank is a burglar, has broken into over 100 homes. It's who? Wow. It's who? It's who? It's who? An expert. Who? Yes. It's the same. Chuck Malone, who is a burglar, hmm? has broken into over 100 homes. Hmm? All right. The black building blank is still under investigation. What's the crime scene? Which? 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 Yes. Did I misspell that? <laughs> yeah, I did, right? Let me go back. The black building, comma, which is still under investigation, comma, was the crime scene. Crime scene. Okay. Letter C. The, the forensic lab, blank, is located uh, in the city center, is a busy place. Who or which? Which. 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 The forensic lab, which is located in the city center, is a busy place. Okay. Teacher, a question. You, I I hear you sen center, no center. Uh, that is correct. You can pronounce it with a T, or you can pronounce it with the long N, center. Without T. Center. Without the T. However, you you have to be careful though. Because if you're sounding every word, so for example, you, you see how you said, you, let's say here, let's use this one, right? If you are going the forensic lab, which is located in the city center is yes. a busy place. Okay, so if you're going like that, you have to say center the way you said it because you are pronouncing the T you are being a T pronouncer, which okay. is okay. Yeah. Now, the T has a couple of sounds. It can either be the sharp T, it can be a D sound. D. Um, right? Or yeah. in some cases, you can actually not sound it out. And in this particular case, we use the N, center. Senate. Okay. But okay. if you okay. notice how I read, the forensic lab, which is located in the city center, yes, center. you guys, you see that? Yes, I didn't yes, pronounce the T's. The T's were not okay. like, okay. yeah. And so in that way, you can say it. And it's okay for you to sound it that way. But if you like to, the T, you can do it. Center. Oh. You can say center. Who is who, teacher? Okay. Next, Ragnar. You said who? 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 Yeah, who. Ragnar, who was a Viking, 
try to conquer England. Hmm? Yes. All right. DNA. Which? 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 Oh, let's read that. DNA, which is found in blood, saliva, and hair, is very powerful evidence. All right. Hey, this is the first time we complete the whole page. How confident do you guys feel? Teacher, could you give us the name of this page? Yes, of course. So yes. Later. Yes, sir. Rafael, it is called Life Work sheets.com okay and all you have to do rafael is come up to the search and type in whatever it is that you're looking for and you're gonna get a worksheet for it okay 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 all right so here we go guys here we go finish finish oh my goodness no no Oh, we got it, 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 100, 10 de 10, well done. Give us the certificate now. We have to you celebrate. Got, you got it, you guys, you guys have earned the certificate. All right, good, good. Teacher. Yes. I have a question about a pronunciation, for example, um, now that you said that the word Center, you can pronounce like that. I was, um, well, I was doubting about, for example, how you pronounce the word want, wanted, because I hear one, that one. people say wanted. Uh, sometimes I say, for example, in my case, I say wanted, and, but I've already heard that some people say wanted with did at the end. It, it has to do it has to do with the sounds now it also depends on influences from media so for example if you guys are listening to rap music more than likely there's going to be a d sound uh there there you know they try to some of these sounds disappear with with different types of music or different types of media um so let me give you an example right i typed in uh, you want to say that you are the center of the world now in this particular sentence, you cannot say center because, because the focus of that particular phrase is you saying that I am the center of the world. And the actual correct way of saying it is pronouncing that T, center. With that now, emphasis. That, correct. So there is that little emphasis. And because it's the center word, you have to pronounce it correctly. So now it changes when something else becomes the focus and you're using it kind of like a backup, right? So that's that's one thing that, that to kind of try to follow along, Raf. Now, okay. your question is this one. Yeah. Okay. What happened? Uh -huh. Oh, he's a thief and he is wanted in over three countries. Okay. Because the emphasis, yeah, because the emphasis is on what is going on, you have to say want it. Okay. All right. And, and you have to sound it out. Now, if you're talking about speaking really, uh, there was, let's see, let's see we, we can use it like that. And I'm sorry about the caps, right? Uh, there was a pair of shoes. I really, okay, see that? There was a pair of shoes I really wanted. You, you heard the D? Did you hear the D? No. No. I really wanted. it. No. Yeah, it, it's really it wanted. wanted, right? So I really wanted. there was a pair of shoes I really wanted. The T disappears a little bit because it is not the most important portion of that sentence. Right here, we're talking about the shoes and how much you, you as a person, wanted it. So there's not that really much of a sound. However, 
the correct way of saying it would be wanted. Okay, that's my question because mm -hmm. you said you say wanted with mm -hmm. C, right? Yes. And I remember that I, I, I listened yesterday um, a person who said one did mm -hmm. and then she continued saying uh, what she wanted to say. Um, so my question is if I have to um, pronounce the T sound wanted or I can change that T sound for instead of uh, D sound one did or not I, or I can't do that. I guess you can use the letter D to pronounce that word. You it can, is wanted or wanted. Yeah, well, the thing is that you can use it, Ralph, because remember that we're talking about creating fluency. And so if you're talking about a sentence where there's a word and you pronounce it with a D, it, I mean, if, if, it, if anybody can, I would say if they can understand you, then it would be okay for you to say it. Okay. Now, you just have to be careful because you know how you, you I think Raf, you put wanted and, and right there, if you're not careful, somebody's gonna, somebody's gonna hear the sound of that eye. Okay. And so if you sound out the eye, then somebody might say, what, what was that? What did you hear? So I get, I guess you can say wanted but uh, you just have to be careful with how it sounds. Okay. Now, now the correct way would be wanted. Okay. But okay. it it changes depending on how you're using it, where you're using it. So sería el coloquialismo. If there's yeah. if there's a if there's a lot of okay. slang being used, you know, some people might use it differently. Mm -hmm. But the correct way would be wanted. Okay, one. All right. All okay. right. All right, guys, congrats on this one. Remember, first person with a certification gets a prize. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Uh, we're going to leave it there for now, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Thank you to you, teacher. For today. Have a wonderful night. See you guys tomorrow. Okay. Discounting. Thank you, teacher. Bye, everyone. Vanessa, Thank Vanessa, you. hold on. Vanessa, stay on the line. Vanessa, stay on the line. Yes. Vanessa, you mentioned that you wanted to say montaña. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, Mount N. So, Mount N. Así se pronuncia. Mount N. Mount N. Mm -hmm. Now. Mount N. Super, separate. Well, no, no. Uh, the thing is that I want you to sound it out that way. Montaigne. It's spelled out mountain, right? Montaigne. But you can't, don't say mountain. Don't say it like that. Don't say mountain. You have to sound mount in, mountain. 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 Well, actually, you can say mount tin. I see, dos palabras. Mount tin. Mount Mountain. 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 Say it fast. Faster. Mountain. mountain. There we go. Mountain. Rapido. Mountain. 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 There it is. Mountain. There it is. You got it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yesterday I heard that that you don't have to pronounce the T. And now that you said that examples, I remember that. Yeah. All right. Good. There's another one with with island. There's an there's an island. S there, but you don't pronounce the S. You don't say island or Iceland. Island. You say island, island correct? Island. 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 Hey, where's the island? Oh, it's over there, the island. So same thing goes with mountain. Uh, or right? walking. Or walking, talking. correct? Walking, talking, correct. Careful talking, with those. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. Okay. Thank you, teacher. No problem. Thank you, guys. Have a good night. Good night. Bye. Thank you very much. Good here. Okay, good night. Good night, Classmates. good night. Bye. Thank you.